this video, we will continue with maximum and minimum values of a quadratic function. You will find this on page 21 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. <clears throat> Let's look at an example. Express this, and I'm just going to make it first bigger. <clears throat> Okay, here it is. Express this expression in this form where A, B, and C are constants and use your answer to state the minimum value of this. Find the value of X at which this minimum value occurs. Ensure that the coefficient of x squared must be 1. So now it's not an equation. So you cannot just divide by 5 all the way through. You will take 5 out as a common factor before you complete the square. So basically, <clears throat> I will just take 5 out. And if you take 5 out, it means that you will take this term, divide 5. Then it's 1x squared. This term, divide 5. This term, divide 5. And now I will just move this up and then I will take this middle term and I divide it by 2. And if you say 8 over 5, and if you divide by 2, then it's 8 over 5 multiply 1 over 2, which is 8 over 10. Then whatever I add, I must also subtract. And now this is my perfect square. So I take this, just the x, I take this, Take the square, that sign there, and then I just simplify this. And then I simplify this, and I get this. But now, this 5 must come back. So remember, there's a 1. So 5 times 1 is 5. Don't multiply it in. Just leave it in front. And then take that 5, multiply this, and I get this. Now, I can already look at this positive to see that it was a smiley face. So I know that this will then be a minimum point. If it's like this, it will be a maximum point. So the minimum value, because I can find the turning point out of that. And what will be the turning point? So I change this sign, so it's negative 4 over 5, and I just grab that sign, negative 26 over 5. So that is the x value, that is the y, and that y value will be the minimum point. So the minimum value is this. So, and then the next question, find the value of x at which this minimum value occurs. So the value of x will then be that negative 4 over 5. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number A and D. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Just going to make it a bit smaller. Okay, let's start. Number A. Express each of the following in this completing the square. Um, expression and then you can write the minimum and the maximum and the value of x that it occurs but okay let's start with a if it's 3 x squared minus 6 x minus 3 so I take 3 out because I wanted 1 x squared as a common factor so it's x squared if I divide I get negative 2 x and if I divide I get negative 1 and now it's going to be x squared minus 2x, and now it's negative 1. Now, I take this middle term and I divide it by 2. So I'm going to add 1, okay, I can make it negative 1. Let me just go back. Negative 1 squared, and I'm going to subtract negative 1 squared. Okay, and now, remember, can you see, whatever I add, I must also subtract. And now, this is my perfect square. So I'm going to write my 3, this is my x, this is my sign, there is my 1, there is my square, and don't forget to put that brackets always. And now I simplify this. So this is negative 1, negative 1, and that will be negative 2. And now I will just remember this a 1. I will multiply it and multiply it. So I will get 3 x minus 1 squared minus 6. 
Okay, so it's maybe good to write the turning point first down because that will change the sign, so it's one, and that sign will stay the same. Now, because this was a positive, it was like this, so there was a minimum point. So, if I go, this was now the first one. So, the second one, so, um, therefore, a minimum point at negative 6 when x is equal to that one. So it's always the y value that's indicating the minimum of the maximum, but that is indicating at what x value it will occur. Okay, that was number A. Let's do number D. Okay, so again I take 3 out as a common factor. Now again it's 3, okay, it's coincidence. So I divide, so it's x squared. If I divide, just, just write it 2 over 3x. And now, just look here, if you say a third, divide 3, so it's a third, multiply, this is over 1, 1 over 3, so it's 1 over 9. So, plus 1 over 9. Okay, now I continue. This is x squared plus 2 over 3x plus 1 over 9. And now I see what I will add. So I will add, I take this middle term, I'm going to do it here on the side, and I divide it by 2. So it's 2 over 3, put it over 1, multiply 1 over 2, so it's 2 over 6. So I'm going to add... 2 over 6 squared minus 2 over 6 squared. Okay, that's my perfect square. So I'm going to do x plus, now it's, you don't leave it, make it one third. One third, don't leave it 2 over 6 squared. Now, now just check here. Can I just show you this, this simplifying? This is negative one third squared. I'm going to do it here. So it's negative 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 9. But 1 times 1, it's negative 1. 3 times 3 is 9. Can you see what happens? Okay. So basically, it's going to be minus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 9. Okay. And then it's going to be 3 x plus a third squared plus 0. Okay, so therefore, this was now the first one, the second one. Therefore, now remember, this is again positive, so it's again having a minimum point. So therefore, a minimum point. Can I just first write down the turning point? So the turning point will be what? Change the sign, minus one third, zero. So minimum point at zero when x is equal to negative a third. Change that sign. Okay, and that will be my final answer.